To our morning message. We thank God for you. We pray that all is well with you. However, remember, we must always look to the hills from which cometh our help. All of our help come from the Lord who made heaven and earth. This morning, I want to talk about reasons for thanksgiving. Why do you give thanks? So many of us give thanks for various reasons. Some for, for the things that we have or, or for the things we don't have. We, we, we give thanks for, for, for whatever the reason is. But we must remember <clears throat> that in all things we must give thanks. And then and, and the, the one uh, a psalm that brings it home is Psalm 100. And, and it reads, make a joyful shout to the Lord all your land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. 
Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. Lord, open our eyes that we may behold the wonderful things found in thy law. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. This morning, as we look at this 100th Psalm, there are some reasons to give thanks. In the New King James Version, it says, make a joyful shout to the Lord. In the King James Version, it says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. And so, what, whatever it is, it is to be joyful and it should be shout. For one reason you got a reason to shout today is because you are on the land of the living. That, that's one reason. And, and, and another reason, he, he, he allowed you to shift your body to and fro. He allowed you to dress yourself. He, he allowed you to, 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 to feed yourself this morning. So, so that, that's a reason right there to give thanks. And, and says, to all the land, everything that has breath ought to give thanks to the Lord. And not, not only that, not, not only that, that's a reason to give thanks for all that he's done. And, and not only that, another reason, he allowed us to serve him. Well, how do we serve him? We serve him by serving others. And that word serve means to minister to. We, we minister to God by ministering to, to others. Serve the Lord with gladness. We ought to be glad to serve the Lord. We ought to be, be so tickled pink to serve the Lord because of what he has done for us. And Psalm 95, 1, it says, Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the Lord, the rock of our salvation. That's why, that's the reason we ought to be shouting right now, because he has saved us. He has delivered us. And, and then to serve him, to, to serve him with gladness. And we ought to come before him with singing. You know, so, some folks, they, they can't sing as well as others. But who are you trying to please anyhow? If you're trying to please man, no, it don't sound good. But if you're singing to the Lord, it is a good noise. It is a noise that, that God hears and he answers that prayer. And then not, not only that, not, not only that, we are to come before him with, with singing. Come before the Lord with singing, we should always have a song in our heart and a word in our mouth. So, so we ought to always give thanks. That, that's a reason because he allowed us to serve him and he allowed us to sing in his presence. That, that, that's another reason. And, and then another reason is that we must know who we are and whose we are. Listen, it says, 
Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastor. First of all, you got to know who you are in Christ. If you know who you are, you don't have any, any problems with doing what God has called you to do. Know. And know you didn't make yourself. Know that you are not self-made as some folks want to proclaim. It is God that has made us and not we ourselves. It goes on to say, we are the sheep of his pastor. The sheep of his pastor because sheep don't have any in a sense of direction. We are the sheep of, of God's pastor and, and, and we are his people. And not only that, we are to enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. That's another reason. Anytime you come to the house of the Lord, you should always give Thanks for his mercy endures forever. But those are reasons. I'm just going over some reasons that we ought to give thanks. And, and, and then in and, and, and Psalm 66 and 13, he tells us to, he says, I will go into the house of I will go into your house with burning offering, with burnt offering. I will pay you my vow. I will go into your house with burnt offerings. I will pay. So, so we ought to, every time we enter into the house of the Lord, we ought to have an offering. Sometimes it may not be monetary all the time. We can offer up a sacrifice of praise. We can, we can offer up our bodies to the Lord. So it is very, very important for us to enter into his gates with thanksgiving and to his court with praise. With praise. And then another reason, because of his goodness, there's, a, there's an old song that says, think of his goodness to you. When you think of his goodness to you, think of where he brought you from. Think of that he protected you from. Think of what he has done. Think of his goodness to you. And then Psalm 136, 1, it says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercies endures forever. We should always give thanks to the Lord, no matter where we are, what we have done. We should always give thanks, for his mercy endures Forever. I just want to, uh, again, let, let's recap some reasons for Thanksgiving. One, he allowed us to be around one more time. We should give him thanks. We are to serve him by serving others. We must know who we are in Christ. And every time we step across the threshold into his house, you ought to give him thanks. Why? Because his mercy endures forever. May God richly bless you and keep you, my beloved.